In this video, I want to talk about patterns, procedural patterns in Substance Painter, things that in the past we may have used geometry for, such as this panel for this morgue door in my dungeon scene. All right, so we're going to be using Substance Painter uh, to do this, and we'll therefore cut down on our polys, and hopefully it'll look good as well. So over here in Blender, this is the morgue door. And the first thing you should notice is I've separated this out into three materials. So this material here is, I've called this the morgue door. That piece is also the morgue door. And then all these sort of incidental pieces are morgue pieces, all of these right there. And then this itself, that's where we're gonna put the pattern, is called the morgue pattern. And I, did, I didn't have to do this, but I did it so that um, I would have more UV space because each separate material has its own UV. So I've UV unwrapped this, I just press U and unwrap. If I look at the morgue door pieces, I unwrapped this. Now there's no seams on this, so I believe I just used cube project for that. And therefore, I can use all this UV space just for this stuff so I'll get a better resolution texture. And then for the pieces, just select all these pieces, come here. I believe I did Smart UV Project for that and then pack them. And I didn't spend a lot of time cleaning it up either. All right, so I've got three different materials on here. I've UV unwrapped this, and now I'm going to export this as an FBX and bring it into Substance Painter. And in Substance Painter, I'm gonna press File, New. I'm gonna switch this to OpenGL for Blender and select, find my FBX and hit OK. And that will load it up in Substance Painter. And you can see that I've got the same materials, which are called texture sets, here in Substance Painter. So we'll bake the mesh maps now. Do this at 2K, uncheck ID, and bake. You can use any materials you want for this, uh, but I'm going to be using a metal material that I have created. I'm going to get rid of this, and I'm going to make sure that I'm on the morgue door or morgue pieces, and I'm going to come to my smart materials, and I'm going to type in, start typing dungeon, and I'm going to drag that over. And that's the metal material I've been using throughout the, pro, the project. All right, here are the layers. It's got a base metal. It's just basically metal. All right, let's have a look at this. Okay, I've got triplanar projection on. A gray, I've got no height. My roughness is down there. My metallic is all the way up. And on that, I put a filter, the matte finish rough. That's all I did, added some dirt, some uh, metal edges, some rust, some scratches. And that's the smart material. All right, so let's come over to the more pieces. I'm going to add the same thing. And they are done. That's fine. So what we really want to talk about is this pattern that I want to put in here. All right, so you can start with any base metal you want. I'm going to go ahead and, and use that base material. It's already got all the same stuff, so it'll look cohesive. It doesn't have to. You can have something different in there if you want. All right, so let's get a pattern, sort of a sci-fi pattern on there. So I'm going to create a fill layer. And I'll leave this alone for the moment. I'll put on a black mask and I will add a fill to that black mask. Click on properties and I've got this grayscale and not much else that I can that I can mess with. We may do a little bit of that in a bit. I'm gonna come over to the procedurals now and this is where you can drop anything you want on here. And I'm gonna search for fabric and it's fabric medieval. Um, Pyramid, Fabric Medieval Pyramid Alternate. This is the one that I believe I use. I'm gonna drag that onto there and you start to see something there. I'm gonna adjust the curvature. I'm gonna put that at 0 0.07. Let's try that. So I get pretty much circles. I could even lower that if I want. Let's come up here and let's try try planar and then bring this, start bringing the scale up and hold shift and you get this pattern. So we're getting the pattern and we're getting black in behind it. All right, I'm gonna come back to my main fill layer right here and I'm going to adjust some things. I'm gonna take the height and I'm gonna bring the height out so you can start to see them projecting outwards. I'll drop the roughness just a little bit and the metallic I'm gonna slide all the way up. And now you can see the pattern on there.
all right and you can shut off the other ones if you want i think actually i'll take the color down a little bit to sort of match this a little bit more let's come back to the pattern itself and i'm just going to play with this so that you can see a change that actually may be closer to what i what i like so it's a pretty interesting pattern that uh, you know if you tried to do this in geometry it would be incredible but this is just a single plane and it looks just fine looks great there and then you can experiment with other patterns so if i just uh, cycle that back again the typical one that i often use is this metal grate here i'll just drop that in there all right that should look pretty familiar so if you were doing like a sci-fi walkway um you know instead of making all of these pieces and having them on a plane and then duplicating that that would kill your computer or your computer game or whatever you can just do uh you can just do this and then you can adjust adjust it as you want so by all means experiment with all of the different patterns and you get some really really neat things here okay this one's another nice one all right so that is how you can do patterns procedural patterns in substance painter and then to get this to work in blender let's just have one last look at that all right uh we've got all our materials or texture sets labeled we would save the file and come to export textures and i'm going to use a pbr metallic roughness set um uh, export template and i'm going to save this to let's just save it to that folder and i'm just going to leave it at 8 bits png that's going to be fine and all these three things will be exported all right i'm only at 1024 by the way for my resolution and if you want you can go higher i'll come back to blender and i'll go to shading and we'll load these in all right more pieces is what is selected so far so i'll select my principal bsdf and shift control t and then navigate to where those textures are okay and i'm going to look for for more pieces base color i want all of these so i'm going to click on that and hold down shift to get all of those and then principal texture setup and that will put them all on there now the only thing is it'll also add displacement and i'm probably going to be using ev so i'm i'm going to get rid of that i don't need that one and i don't need the map it's up to you if you want to do that um but that's done so let's now have a look at the morgue door itself all right shift control t more door base color down to roughness do that once again i will get rid of this And then finally, let's have a look at the pattern. So we'll select the morgue pattern, shift control T, and we'll come down to pattern, base color down to roughness, and do that. Now, if you have a close look at this, it may look as if these are going inwards instead of outwards. And of course, I changed the pattern from the original fabric medieval pyramid alternate, but that's fine just to illustrate this. If that happens, it means that your um, output uh, template for um, Blender is not calculating the normals correctly. And you can change that in Substance Painter. Or a quick fix is to come over here. I'm going to slide this over. I'm going to maximize this window, get rid of the displacement. What it really means is the normals are flipped. The green channel is flipped. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that out of there. And down here between normal and the normal map, I'll do the quick fix. And this will work pretty much every time. So if ever your normals are flipped, there's various ways to flip them in software or in Substance Painter. But if you don't want to be bothered, just shift A, converter, separate RGB, and then combine RGB. And we'll connect the red to the red and the blue to the blue. It's only the green channel that is backwards or flipped. So I'm going to go shift A, color, invert we're going to invert the color for the green so i'm going to drag the green into the color and the color down to there and then all you need to do now is connect this to here and this to here so this is what you need to flip that normal come back to here and now they're facing outwards so if you ever get that 
it's indented rather than going out and you're not using like a bump map where you can just press invert there's a quick fix if you don't fix it in substance painter itself so there's a way to do some patterns uh in substance painter